Lukato informed journalists during a press briefing on Monday that escalation of issues pertaining to crime, unemployment, gender-based violence, corruption and inequality forced them into joining forces in the hope of reversing the status quo once in power. Lukato raised further concern with allegations of public entities being captured by political elites, which he says perpetuates a culture of corruption. He says opposition parties splitting votes ahead of the 2024 presidential and national assembly elections is retrogressive, emphasizing the need for the opposition to join hands. So the coalition agreed that the uh, NDP will head the, the coalition. And uh, our member supporters from the Namibia Empowerment uh, uh, Fighting for Corruption, together with the NDP supporters, members, and uh, also our sympathizers, they will rally behind us through the ticket of NDP. So they have to vote for the coalition uh, through the ticket of NDP. The coalition, he says, will also lodge a petition with the National Assembly demanding an independent commission of inquiry into allegations of human rights violations said to have occurred during the recent demolition of illegal structures at Katima Mulilo. Lukato says a report will shed light on concerns raised and assist in bringing the culprits to justice. We are going to instruct to demand the, uh, uh, the minister to come in so that he can uh, uh, establish and appoint the commission of inquiry to investigate the human rights abuse, human rights of, of barbaracy, killing of people, or detention, or uh, injured people, those who were shelters and all those who were destroyed. So that that commission's report should be definitely handed so that those culprits could be should be arrested and to face justice. The absenteeism by lawmakers during sessions of both National Assembly and National Council to attend political gatherings or meetings is also a violation of duty, he said. He urged those making themselves guilty of such conduct to desist. Kaiba Herwekanji, NBC News, Venduk.